Hey, what's up everybody? Adam here. Wanted to share with you my step-by-step -step process for getting free high quality leads for my uh, advertising agency, for your digital ad agency, um, every single day. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cover a quick uh, run through of how we do a marketing audit on Google to find prospects and find what they're doing and then communicate with them and uh, get them to actually reach out to us for uh, a conversation. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is just simply get on to Google. And uh, from there, what we're going to do is we're, we're simply going to look um, at, uh, at some results that we see uh, for their ads. So the first thing you want to do is kind of pick a niche and pick an area. So uh, I live in Philadelphia, so close to me is Lancaster as just an example, um, and my niche would be roofers. Um, this is not my personal niche, but just trying to give you this as an explanation um, of a good, good niche to make some, uh, so, so, some quick leads from and uh, and people that are spending money. So um, what we want to do is we want to pick kind of relevant keywords that a prospect would search for uh, when doing a search looking for a lo local roofer. So obviously it starts with roofers in Lancaster, PA, but we also want to check out keywords like a leaky roof, something that's emergency where somebody's going to reach out immediately. Um, from there, what we want to do is kind of track exactly who's advertising. So there's kind of two things that we want to look for. Um, it, it's not always going to be relevant for, uh, for all advertising, but in the service industry, um, service-based industries, uh, what, what Google's doing now is um, they're, they're simply doing local service ads. So what we want to do is kind of just create an Excel spreadsheet um, and just list you know, what the search is, roofers in Lancaster, PA, uh, you know, day and time, uh, you know, right now it's a, it's one o'clock, for example, I would want to just mark down, you know, MB roofing, certitude roofing, Impriano roofing, uh, Mr. Roofing, certitude, uh, again, is here, um, PJ fits. And so what I want to track is one, you know, kind of what their position is. Hey, these people are doing local service ads. Uh, you know, this is position one, position two, position three. And really what we want to do is be able to go through and check, um, you know, what keywords they're, they're searching for. Again, roofers in Lancaster, PA, leaky roof Lancaster, PA. Again, kind of Jim Miller roofing showed up here. PJ Fitz is back again, but remodeling concepts is here. So we, we're going to be able to figure out kind of what relevant keywords they're, they're showing up for, um, when they're showing up. And uh, you know uh, how often? So if you know if they're if certitude's up for every single one of them, and they're both in the um, you know in the, the local uh, service ads, and they're in the regular ads, I'd want to identify that. Um, from there, what we want to do is kind of track um, you know obviously who's running the ads, but then you know what they're saying in their ads. So this one's talking about uh, you know an offer, a two hundred seventy nine dollar uh, minor repair. Um, this one's just about a free estimate. This one's a thousand dollars off. Um, you know, again, free estimate, uh, nothing specific. But we're looking for keywords that they're using. We're looking for kind of what their offers are, and then we want to kind of check what their landing pages look like. Now, I do not. I do, again repeat, I do not recommend that you click on the ads. But a lot of times, what you'll find is something that's very specific in the. Um, in the the actual uh, ad itself, that kind of tells you where the ads are going to end, uh, you know, end up putting you. So you can usually track that and you know see what that landing page looks like. And from there, kind of what I like to do is evaluate again what the offer is, um, what what you know what what's being mentioned. Is it is it you know a good looking website? Is it uh, a clear call to action? You know, are they putting a phone number in big big number of uh, big you know? It, it, in a big obvious position, um, is there a, uh, a form submission or you know what that landing page looks like and, and the like? Um, I also want to track, which I didn't mention earlier, is you know who's using extensions, who's putting phone numbers on there. Um, you know, obviously no phone number here. Um, obviously no it's extensions at all. No uh, no extensions, but a phone number. This one's using uh, you know a phone number and other extensions. Plus, get a free quote. Um, this is all good information to track because. If I'm calling or reaching out to, for example, um, PJ Fitz, here they're, they're putting a number of different um, extensions with no phone number. Here, again, PJ Fitz, no extensions, no phone number. If I'm reaching out to Certitude, I'm finding a phone number, but no uh, extensions. And it gives me an ability to kind of track and, and, and have a complete audit of who's, again, doing what with their ads. 
Um, so again, what we're going to do is we're going to track the offers, we're going to track the extensions, um, what keywords or phrases are mentioned, who's putting together uh, a price point. We want to track all that information. And again, what we want to do is reach out or uh, as part of this process is figure out what the landing pages are, are going to look like. And again, how clear cut the calls to action are. So the next step is what we're going to do is once we decide, hey, I'm going to reach out to Joyland or I'm going to reach out to uh, PJ Fitz, what we're doing is we're just simply getting their, their, their information. Again, usually they're going to have uh, an email address um, or a form submission that you can submit this information to um, right on their website. So sales at, I can always use, uh, you know, different tools to kind of find out who's the, um, who the people are. Um, one trick I like to do is kind of look at the about us. Um, and see if there's anybody in particular mentioning, um, you know, that like, like who they are. Um, a lot of times you'll find an owner like Bob and, you know, if I look up on LinkedIn, for example, Bob at Joyland Roofing, uh, I'll be able to track some more relevant information. A lot of times I'll get an email, um, but there's ways to find kind of what Bob's information would be uh, in this particular example. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to record a Loom video um, that walks through kind of what I found, share the information, talk to them, you know, hey, this is what I found, Bob, about your ads. Um, here's your competitors. I would share the, 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 you know, the whole audit, you know, how many competitors there are, what times they're advertising, what they're saying, what the offers look like compared to Bob's offers, and uh, give a full, you know, um, full audit. Now, I try and do this in two minutes or less, three minutes or less, and that way, uh, you know, Bob doesn't, you know, have to go through a 35-minute uh, video to try and find out any relevant information. And also, it gives me an opportunity to just share some of the information in my Google Ad Audit so that they have to actually reach back out to get more information. Um, I will usually share the complete audit with them, and uh, that's, real, you know, reason enough for them to want to reach back out to me. But once I know that they're interested, then I have a qualified lead. Um, somebody that I know is interested in their marketing. I know they're already spending their money um, on Google Ads, so they're you know I know that they they have a wallet to spend uh, for my services. And so again, I'm going to send to the companies that are already spending, people that have already done this audit for. So. If Bob doesn't reach out, I've got, you know, maybe 30 other uh, advertisers that I've done over maybe a two to three day period to figure out who's advertising, what they're doing, and the people that do actually respond, um, you know, obviously I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to set up a quick call to kind of mention my services, but more importantly, kind of identify the, the issues with their advertising that I found. Um, now, obviously, this is the hard way to do it. Uh, what I like to do is use a free, fast, and automated way to do this. Um, I have an ad lab service that I'm going to li link in uh, below that's free. Again, um, 750 free credits for this um, that will get you a list of, uh, of, of an, an audit, uh, which will provide a list of competitors that you can reach out to. Um, it's, uh, you know, so it's real cool. Um, it shares the actual ads. You know, this is, again, not not roofing based, but um, it shows kind of if, if I was doing a uh, an audit for rapid mold removal, I can then say, hey, these are your ads. These are, you know, your competitor ads. These are what they look like. Um, I can show exactly how many ads somebody ran um, in the local market. And I can show, uh, you know, when they're running. So, hey, this is February 27th to March 4th. You know, this is 1 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. What we're going to find and look for is gaps. At 7 a.m. on Tuesday, there are only seven advertisers. But, um, you know, at, on Wednesday uh, at 7 a.m., there were 11. So, obviously, it costs more money to advertise when there's more advertisers there. Uh, what we're looking for is, is different things that stand out as far as that. But again, really what we're going to look to do is kind of just figure out exactly who the competitors are, who's got extensions, you know, what keywords they're using, who's got unique ads, and then I'm going to reach out to them and I'm going to share this audit, as you can see. Um, that's exactly what I did here, and this is a landscape architect. Um, I'm actually sharing that audit and just sharing a little bit of it in a two-minute video and then asking them to reach back out to me to have a further conversation. Uh, you can put your face on there. You don't have to put your face on there like I'm doing here. Um, you know, that's completely up to you. Uh, but again, you're able to create a free audit um, that, that people find relevant rather than, uh, rather than jumping on and making a ridiculous promise that you're going to get 75 new customers a month for somebody or anything like that. What we're doing is actually sharing information. It's a, you know, it's, it's simple lead gen, um, trying to find people that are interested. Now, one cool thing about this also is I can actually go through and um, as part of this, I can share 
Uh, I'm actually going to pause this to go back into it. All right, I'm back. So I wanted to share with you kind of the back end scene of this where uh, I'm not going to show you how to set up a job. Actually, I can do that as well. But basically what we're doing is we're finding all the local competitors. Um, you know, who, I only targeted landscape design in, uh, in a bunch of different areas around me. Um, again, you know, kind of the different towns. Um, how many ads they've run in those during that period of time. Um, what it does is actually, and I'll try and find a national competitor um, if I can. Um, what they're, they're going to do is that they actually, for Home Advisor, which I wouldn't advise, um, they give you a phone number, email, all the contact information that you want. So you can just send that right out to them. Um, but basically, again, what I would do is then have a, um, a simple um, audit again, which takes you right into this information, shows all the competitors, uh, you know, where they rank, all that information. Now, if I want to, I can then create an email, an automated email that goes out that shares a little bit in this, in this information. It's a whole automated system. Again, this is all free. You should check it out. There are bigger campaigns that cost more money. Um, that's what I spend money on, but you can do this completely for free. And then what I also want to do is kind of just show you how easy it is to set up a job. So you can set up a job basically on, you know, run, you know, every four hours, every hour, uh, you know, five times an hour. You can do all kinds of stuff. Um, and again, all you have to do is kind of select the keywords, select the town names that you want it to run in, and it's really simple setup. Anyway, I'm going to put a link for that uh, down below, but I wanted to share with you how easy it is to set up a, you know, an audit that can actually generate free leads for your ad agency. Um, on Google Ads, for example, that's one of the services we provide, um, I can get these ads every single day or these free leads every single day just by picking a niche, picking a town, running, a, running an audit, and, uh, and, and you know it's something different that not everybody's doing, so you can actually stand out uh, by sending an email to their inbox that has a video where somebody's waving or walking through. Um, it's super cool. If you haven't used Loom, I, t I highly recommend it. It's a great way to kind of generate um, you know, leads, and you can also track who's watching the videos and for how long. Hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, fire them off in the comments. Please like, subscribe. I always want subscribers here, but um, if you find value, like the video or put your comments below and uh, let me know what you think. Hope you uh, got some value.